Hi, I'm Mark, Sublime Acoustic. Uh, today we're, uh, we're uh, doing a demo comparing uh, the sound of a system with pa standard passive crossover versus an active crossover. So we have a set of uh, Klipsch RF5 speakers. And we are doing an A-B test between the two. So we've got an A-B test box that will allow us to quickly switch between a standard passive crossover driven by this Bryston 4B. So this, when, when, uh, when we're in the passive mode, this is, a, uh, this is the, the amplifier that will be driving it through the standard passive signal channel. Uh, then when we switch it to active, what, uh, what we'll be hearing is two much lower end amplifiers. These are mono price, amplifiers. These were $150 each, uh, so very low cost. We wanted to kind of emphasize that you don't need, you know, very expensive amplifiers because with active biamping, you do need more amplifier channels, but they don't need to be multi-thousand dollar amplifiers. So um, when the red light, when the light is red uh, in the demo, it will be in the active mode. When the light is green, it'll be in the passive mode. And so listen to it, you know, try to try to see if you can hear the difference. It might be a little bit difficult, uh, obviously through phone speakers, but if you can play it through uh, a better sound system, I think you'll hear uh, the difference in the sound quality. Uh, so let us know, um, you know, let us know what you think in the comments below. Thanks.